Daniel Hood was out in Clementi looking for good food, as usual, and we found some pretty yummy kue tutu. Now, next to that kue tutu stall, we scored another food gem. This rojak stall has customers who swear by it. Take a look. He's Bruce Lee. And, uh, he's also Bruce Lee. Don't ask me why, but these two brothers call each other by the nickname Bruce Lee. For no apparent reason, they say. Fair enough, because their zesty rojak will give you a sky-high kick, kung fu style. Hey, yeah! Perhaps it's got something to do with Boon Hing's elder brother Boon Hua's rojak mixing style. With swift, sharp movements, he whips up a mean plate of this very Singaporean dish. What's in it? Well, a lot. Vegetables like cucumber and bean sprouts, as well as fruits like pineapple and youtiao, which are Chinese dough fritters. The gravy is a pungent combination of shrimp paste, ground peanuts, Assam juice, chili and sugar. This recipe came from their father, who was a rojak peddler more than 40 years ago. Their tasty vegetable and fruit salad has quite a following, with long queues stretching out. Been many many years uh, we eat this stuff. How many years already? Many are uh, from my mother, my grandmother. Nice. This one's nice. Oh. The baby is nice. Oh. These two brothers, they call him Bruce Lee. Why you like their rojak? The mixture of the ingredient and the person himself. Oh, you like the, yeah. <laughs> the person himself? The person himself, you see? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very smiley brothers. Yeah, very friendly. Very nice and very gentle, very smart as well. <laughs> it's true. The two brothers are often all smiles and always friendly to customers. It's rojak time! Look at how pretty this rojak is, full of ingredients, full of peanut. Just going to mix it up. The best way to eat rojak, mix it all up. My favourite part of rojak is the yu tiao. Let's try it. When it comes to rojak, it's all about the sauce. The yu tiao is... Uh, is crispy enough but not too hard and the magic is really in the sauce as you can see the consistency of the sauce let me get some up for you it's not too watery it's actually quite sticky uh, and because it's not not too watery it actually sticks on and coats each piece of rojak very well and then the thickness of the gravy really you know gives a lot of kick to the whole rojak thing mm. Pineapple is just nice, not overripe. You can still taste the tanginess, a bit of sourness, which is great because it lends a bit of difference to the whole um, taste of the rojak. Now, this is the tapok. Mm. Mm, this tapok is quite nice. You know how some tapok in rojaks can taste like cardboard sometimes? This one doesn't. This one is actually toasted well, so that it's not too hard. And the inside of the pork is actually quite um, quite soft. Uh, it's actually quite fluffy and after I chew it a while, it's, it's, it's actually quite creamy on the inside. So it's pretty tasty the pork. Yum! So yeah, what's in their wonderful sauce? That sauce? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>